Hi everybody. If Instagram wants you to stay on their platform longer and they also want you to prioritize video, then how can you do both of those things? Today we're talking about how you can add video to your carousel posts. Let's get right into it. If you're new here, my name is Liz and I release videos every Tuesday talking about how you can add video to your business. Make sure that you subscribe to this channel so that you never miss any of my future content. Now we've heard all over the place that Instagram is desperate to keep you on that platform and not just scrolling off and going and looking at other things. So how can you really do that and also prioritize video at the same time? Because this is the wave of the future for Instagram. They've said over and over that they are prioritizing any type of video content like live streams, stories, reels, all of that stuff. But let's not forget about how you can actually add video to your feed without making it a reel or a live stream. Of course, you can simply just create a video just like what I'm doing right now and then just post it to your Instagram feed. But another even better way to do this that a lot of people don't think about is to insert a video into a carousel post. So that is what we're talking about today. So let's jump right into it. Now, Instagram has already made it clear that they love when you create carousel posts because it causes your viewer to actually spend more time on the app while they are scrolling through the different slides. This is in comparison to a typical Instagram post where it's just one picture or a graphic to look at. Now you can create up to 10 slides within a carousel post, but did it ever occur to you that one of those or two of those could actually be a video? Yes, you can absolutely do this. I've been doing this for a long time. As you know, every single Tuesday, I release YouTube videos. So when I release my video here on YouTube, I also actually put a small snippet of this same video into a carousel post. And then I send that to my Instagram. Now we're going to jump onto my computer so that I can show you exactly how to create this, but you can use this in a variety of different ways. For example, when I use it on Tuesdays, what I do on Instagram is I create one slide that has my title graphic. So it just shows what the YouTube video is going to be about. And there's a picture of me and the title of it is there. That is the first slide in my carousel post. My second slide is a 15 second snippet of my YouTube video. So somebody can scroll and they can see that. Right away, they get an idea of what my full YouTube video might be about. Then my third slide in my carousel post is simply another graphic that says, watch the full video on YouTube. So people know now that they can go there and watch the whole thing. And then the fourth slide in that carousel simply says, have you downloaded my free resource yet? And then I have a graphic there of a free resource that they can opt into. So then I'm helping to build my email list. So within just four simple slides, the person who's looking at this carousel post gets a whole bunch of different pieces of information that they can put together. So you can use video in your carousel post for a variety of different reasons. For example, when you are promoting a launch, imagine if your first slide of your carousel just showed that you are promoting a launch and then your second slide is an actual scroll through where you are showing your computer screen and showing the viewer what are the components of the program that you are about to launch, for example. Or you could have a video of yourself talking about some of the components of the launch, the transformation that you offer, any of that stuff. The third slide could be a picture of some of the details, the features, the modules, all of that. The fourth slide could be a testimonial of someone who has already taken that program. The fifth slide could simply be a piece of text showing the website for people to go to to sign up and register. There are so many ways that you can actually mix and match video and graphics and text and photos within a carousel post. So don't forget that you can add video within this mix. It really actually has two benefits. One is that it keeps people on the platform even longer than a normal carousel post, because while they are watching the video that's inserted in your carousel, that's even more seconds that they're spending on that platform as opposed to just scrolling through slides. Not only that, but don't forget that Instagram is always going to reward you for any type of video that you have. So let's jump onto my computer so that I can show you how to actually set this up. Of course, our goal here is to add a carousel post to Instagram. So I've opened up my Instagram and then on desktop, it's super easy to do this actually. So you just have to click this post button. Let's do that. And then we can go ahead and select our media from the computer. So let's go ahead and grab that. Okay, so I've already prepared all of the media that we need. So when you're making a carousel post, then you're going to think about what combination of graphics as well as video you want to add. So as I mentioned, every Tuesday, I have a YouTube video that comes out. And then I like to create this type of video carousel on Instagram. 
So the first page of that carousel post is often something like this. It's just the title of the YouTube video and my picture, and it's just a normal JPEG in the square format. Then the next thing that I would add in that carousel would be the actual video. So in my case, for every YouTube video, I create a 15 second snippet of that video just to introduce it. So here's that, it's an MP4 format, and we don't have to worry about the fact that it's in a horizontal landscape because we're going to adjust that in Instagram. Then the third slide within my carousel post is often this one, which says, watch the rest on YouTube. So that gives people an idea that this video that they just saw was just a quick peek, but they can actually watch the rest on YouTube. And again, that's just a square JPEG. Then I finish off that carousel slide, usually with some type of a slide that indicates a call to action. So in this case, my last slide shows them a graphic of a free resource that I have. And it asks them here, have you taken my free course? And it tells them the name of that, see the link in bio. So when people see this last slide, then again, they know that they can go check out the link in bio. And this is just an extra piece of information that I give them. So these are the different components that I'm going to upload when we are creating this new post. So let's do that. So let's pick the first one. Oops. Okay, so there's the first one. There's that. Now what we're going to do is we're going to click this little carousel button so that Instagram knows that it's not just one page. So here's that. And then we can click this plus button to indicate that we want to upload something else. So my second piece of the carousel is that video snippet. So I'm going to add that. And then that will just take a second to upload here. Then again, we're going to click the plus so that I can add a third slide. So let's put that one. Then I'm going to click it again and I can add my last slide. So with carousel posts, you can add up to 10 slides. So I've just got the four here. So of course we can see from the prompt that if I wanted to, I could just pick up any of these slides and just move them around to somewhere else. But I'm happy with this order that I have them in. So your first slide would look like this. And then when we skim over to the second slide, we see that the video plays like this. And of course that's because we shot it in horizontal format. So in fact, what we want to do is just click on it and then the grid lines appear and then we can actually just move it over. So let's see what that looks like again. Right. So we can just move that over and now that's centralized and that is perfect. And then our third slide looks fine because it was already a square. And then our last slide also looks fine. Now, the other thing that we could have done is use this margining framing feature. So if we had clicked that, then it would allow us to upload our files into this carousel format in whatever format it originated in. So I originally started with a horizontal. So if I wanted to, I could have just clicked this. And if I do that, then it allows me to, ad to adjust my horizontal video a little bit differently. It still looks the same when we actually upload it, but when it plays, it will actually play just here as a horizontal video with white at the top and at the bottom. And then I'm just going to keep that as square because I actually like the look of that a little bit better. So let's just adjust that, make sure everything looks okay. And there it is. Now we're ready to post this and continue with its processing. So let's click next. And then at this point, we often see this screen in Instagram. You might be familiar with it already so that you can just make any color adjustments or add a filter to this, but I'm okay with it the way that it looks. So I'll just go next. So when I do that, then I'm here at this usual page that we see where I can type my caption and then adjust any of these settings if I like as well. Now, one thing just to make note of here, so let's just go back for a minute is that we can also edit each of these slides with color grading or with other options. So I happen to be on this slide right now and then clicking next. On the other hand, if I had been on this video first and then click next, then it would allow me to add a custom cover photo image specifically to this video, even though it appears as the second slide in the carousel. So that's just another extra layer of editing and customization that you can use if you would like to, or 
You can even trim that video from inside this page. If you feel that this 15 seconds is too long, you don't want all of that, you can just grab these handlebars and then just trim it if you want to. And you can even adjust and toggle this on and off if you feel that you don't want it to play with the sound. If I wanted to, I could just turn that off and then there wouldn't be any sound there. I usually like to play it with the sound just to force people to just awaken themselves and have a look at that. And then we can move on. So this will still remain as the second slide. It's not going to change that, but it did allow us to do a little bit of editing there. Then when we're done everything, we will just click share and then that will just post to our feed. So I don't want to share that one right now because I actually posted that same one. So let's discard that for a second. But if you scroll through my Instagram, you can see just on the post page itself, you can see every time I've done that. So here's the one that I made. And then here's another similar one. You can see from this symbol up here that we know that it's a carousel. So this is another YouTube that I've created. Here's another YouTube that I've created. So here's the carousel. So if we just click on that, we can see what it looks like. Here's my caption all the hashtags, all of that. And then anyone can scroll through. They can watch that video there. They can see that the rest is on YouTube and they can go ahead and jump into my free resource. So that's it. Super simple. Now we're interrupting this video so I can remind you to subscribe to this channel because I think you should do that first. Also, if you're interested in getting started with video, then make sure that you check the link in the description of this video for a free resource that I can send you to get started right away. Now let's get back to our video. Now, as we've said, there are so many ways that you can include a video in a carousel post, but one other way that I think is really underrated but is super useful is to use them for student feedback or for client testimonials. Imagine if the first slide of your carousel post had a graphic or a photo of a client who has used your service. And then the second slide shows a quick 15 or 20 second snippet of your student speaking to the camera, telling about the great experience they had. And then the third slide tells their name and the business they're in and the relevance to your actual product or service that that person found. And then the fourth slide, of course, can show a graphic of your sales page or something back on your website where an interested party can start to learn more. Isn't this a great way to actually show a testimonial within a carousel and also include all of the text and the graphics and the actual video of that person? I think it's a perfect way to continue to add video to carousel posts. So if you like this video, make sure that you give it a like and share it off with one of your friends. Don't forget to subscribe here because every single Tuesday, I bring you a new video showing you how you can add video to your business in the most simple way possible. So until next time, take care.